seven trumpets prepper. Guys, uh, I just want to say this going down the road today. And uh, Nicky Dunn got on to me because I got clean out of hand about this. Uh, I want to say hi, everybody. And bless her heart, she keeps me straight. But now, I may get off a chain with this. Um, I can smack you back in. <laughs> is that the people of my generation, my age group, and, you know, backwards, um, you know, the upcoming generations, most of them are just stupid. Now, I don't mean to be just hate speeching people all the time, but now just please bear with me a minute. I just passed this vehicle. It's like feel the burn and coexist and all this crap. Just crap. And I looked at it and I'm like, what you see here is an obligation of liberalism. What you see is let's all hold hands and sing around the campfire while the Islamist cuts my head off and rapes my sister, uh, you know, and and just all this craziness. And I'm just like, my generation, okay, my generation, backwards, like I said, they're most of them just stupid people. Um, I always try to reserve myself and treat people with respect, but I just can't find it for my generation back, the younger upcoming people. It's lost. Ladies and gentlemen, this country, it is lost. Um, I think the church houses, um, the re you know, I seen this, um, I told Nikki about this the other day, we were talking about this, this mommy blogger. And I'll have to put a link to it um, she's supposed to be a Christian mommy blogger. And so, long and short of it, apparently her and her man had problems later. Um, he had infidelity in the marriage, slept with somebody else, or, or committed adultery. I don't know. I don't want to judge the guy. I don't know all the story. But what I do know is that she ended up leaving him, uh, I think getting a divorce. This woman's got children. You know, they got children between them. And she ends up marrying a soccer player, female soccer player, um, and becomes a lesbian. What? What bothered me is now one, you can choose the lifestyle and go down it. What really bothers me is then she tried to start twisting scripture that like, oh, it's okay, you know, that like trying to put it like, oh, everything's fine if you're homosexual, the most high I love you. I don't understand what people, y'all don't understand. Love you, but it says it's an abomination. It's an abomination, exactly, Miss Nikki. And I don't know if y'all understand this or not. This may be a really hard pill to swallow, but you know, the scripture teaches that if you love me, keep my commandments. I don't know if that's too hard for people to understand. I don't know if people, you know, the other day somebody disrespected the most high in my YouTube video live. And for the first time ever, I, I, you know, I told somebody on my YouTube channel that I know of in years that I've been doing it. I was like, you're just a special kind of stupid. My tolerance level is broke. I just, I am cold inside. It's empty. There's nothing there when I deal with these people anymore. And I'm telling you, Nikki says Grinch hard. And, and I can't, I can't tolerate it. Um, and I guess I said all that to say this, that if you don't think getting off grid, getting away from society, fleeing Babylon, leaving the church house, getting away from these crazy flipping people, you are literally, literally going to experience the walking dead one day. I mean, these, these people, um, they they just come off their darn rocker. And I drove past that car and that was just it. That was just like the straw that broke the camel's back is that I see so many of my friends, they're, they're hardcore conservatives, hardcore conservatives. And now we may not agree on certain things, the flat earth or the Hebrews, or I mean, just like, I'm just going political for a minute. But one reoccurring theme we all can baseline on, okay? We can all see eye to eye on, is that if some morality is not restored to this nation and to the world for that matter, we're going to fall off the rocker. Um, and that's why that Italians all the time get away from these people because there there is no hope for them. You know, I tell Jonathan all the time, I'm like, son, I'm proud of you. You know, you may not grow up to be um, a world-renowned uh, engineer or a world-renowned this or that, but if you grow up to be a morally upright man who works hard, takes care of his wife and kid, you know, he's there for his family, and you serve the most high, y'all, that's all I want for you in life is to, that and to be happy is because... I seen this little placard thing, meme somebody shared on Facebook one day, and it said, "This is someone's legacy." That's that. That was the meme, and it showed this kid with like purple hair, and I couldn't tell if it was a boy or girl. And I don't mean to be rude or making fun of people. I don't know. You know, I mean, people make fun of me, my accent, or 
you know, all sorts of different things. So, I mean, I don't want to ever make fun of anybody. I catch it sometimes myself. But what I'm getting at is that, like, it, that person, that young, that young, I believe young man, was so twisted up, pierced everywhere. I think he had the tattoo thing going on. I mean, just jacked up. And um, at the end of it, you couldn't tell that person anymore. I mean, like, they were just, you could just tell they were lost. And, and they captioned that person in the middle of uh, a protest or something. And, you know, I mean, society's gone. And then you got this joker that ran over a bunch of people at Times Square the other day or whatever. Me and Nikki watched the video of that this morning, and it absolutely is just, I don't even have the words for it. And, and I'm telling you that the things, the evils, the stupidity of people, the evils of people, the indoctrination going on in the the uh, church houses of Rome here, of uh, Babylon, and the indoctrination in the school system, um, our society is lost. Okay, so at the uh, here's sum this up for you real quick. This is uh, riding along with Lucas Wisdom today. Okay, 101 is that if you want to survive what is to come. It's really cut and dry anymore, guys. You don't have to guess. You don't have to try to think this stuff out. It's really cut and dry. Number one is you go to the scripture. And you look and you see, hey, we're in the literal scriptural end of days. Who knew? Okay? That's option, or that's the first thing on the table you look at. And after that, you decide real quickly, do I want to serve the Most High Yah or do I not? Because people are willfully ignorant now. They willfully sin. Um, I, think it's, I think it's 2 Timothy. Um, and I've got to put the verse in the in in the video description below. But it talks about there will be a coming time where people will not endear sound doctrine, but they will literally, um, you know, I can't I can't summarize the exactness of the verse. Like I said, I'll put it in the video description below. But pretty much that time was coming when people won't endear sound doctrine, but they'll they'll want to hear that what the pastor man says may feel good. All this Joel Osteenism and uh, all this bull, and they won't want to hear the truth. And it just gets me fired up because, like, the other day I made a new moon video or, or a video discussing about the new moon. And um, somebody called me up this morning and, you know, wanted to have a discussion, a friendly discussion, um, and, and not a debate. Just like, you know, here here's this information to add to what you said, you know. And I'm like, the problem is, at the end of the day, once again, is all I ever ask for in life is that thus saith Yahweh to walk in. Okay, because if you can show me line item, this is how to do X, Y, and Z. This is what you should be doing X, Y, and Z. Look a walk in it. I'm not a hard heart to deal with. You know, it's just like in our country, the reason it's falling apart is because we have this thing called a constitution. We have this thing called laws. And then we have freaking jokers like uh, our politicians and stuff that think they're above that. We have cops the other day. I seen this police officer the other day taste this Hebrew Israelite man after he was already in handcuffs and act like that's okay. That's not okay. Now, I don't care if it's a Hebrew Israelite, a Chinese guy, a Taiwanese, a Mexican. I don't care who it is. Um, it, any E's or can or whatever you want to attach to a person's last name, wherever they're from, I don't care. It's not right. And so if you will listen to me and understand that society is lost and that this this whole nation, this whole world is just falling off its darn rocker and people my age back like, I feel like sometimes that I live in a matrix because I'm like, I look around people my own age and I'm like, thank you, Father Yah, that I have my mind. I may not be rich. I may not be the wisest man in the world. I may not be a lot of things. I may not be famous, and I don't care about being famous, but I may not be a lot of things, but I'm so glad I have a sound mind because these freaking people, um, I, I say it all the time, Nikki gets mad at me because um, I look at people and I'm like, you people. I mean, I've even went off. I'm like, you people. And it's, it's this, yeah, there's the pointer finger. I do it, and I get so mad. But it's, it's this country, this nation, this world, it's lost. We're in the days of Noah. Start building your boat, okay, and get the flip out of Dodge because um, it's going to hit the, it's, it literally is going to hit the fan in a couple of years. And I apologize. I just, I wanted to get that off my chest today going down the road because I'm going to tell you guys, time is drawing very nigh. I talk to, I talk to the elders often. I'm going to sum, summarize this video real quick. I'm going to end with this. I talk to elders often, Hebrew and Gentile. And a reoccurring theme is, is that there's never been a time in the history of humanity like this time now that you can see prophecy clearly coming to a close. 
it's not gonna get any better, okay? So the best thing you can do is separate from people because they're not gonna endure sound doctrine. They've lost their darn mind and they're a lost cause. Just don't bother, don't even bother trying to reason with them because at the end of the day, it's not gonna be worth it, okay? So I hope that's a help to you. Until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prayer Channel. Guys, as always, I love y'all to the dome and back and I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua. Yeah,